everyone, it's Miss Hinsdale, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about how to breathe. And you're like, hey, I know how to breathe. I know like breathing is involuntary, whatever. But in band class, we breathe a little bit differently, okay? So you need a lot of air for your instruments. Every single one of you needs a lot of air. For instance, do you know how long the tubing in a euphonium is? It's eight feet long, okay? That means that your air has to get at least eight feet in front of you to make it to the end of your instrument. For a tuba, it is 16 foot long, okay? That means your air has to go at at least 16 foot in front of you. Think like a basketball hoop and a half. That's how much air you gotta move, okay? Trombones, it's eight foot. Oboe, you have a lot of resistance, so you need a ton of air. And bassoon, it's also about eight feet of air that you've gotta move, okay? And so, basically, how to breathe in band class, it's called diaphragmatic breathing, okay? So it's like this really fancy word that basically just means to breathe from your tummy, okay? So I'm gonna stand up really quickly, and I want you to, to watch as I breathe like I should in band class. And so basically, your tummy's gonna expand out, and then you're gonna push it back in, and you should feel your abs kind of moving there, okay? So if I'm in sitting in a chair, in a nice flat bottom chair, hard chair, not your couch, not your bed, okay? One hand here, you're gonna breathe in and out. And basically, this is the way you breathe when you're asleep. Okay, so if you've ever watched your little brother or sister sleep when they were like a baby, or you're just like a super creeper and you've watched anybody else sleep, okay, you'll notice that they're breathing from their tummies and they're not breathing up here. A lot of the times we do what's called chest breathing. So you're gonna go, and you hear how shallow that is? That's not what we want in band class because basically you're only using the top part of your lungs. If, I'm gonna stand up again and show you guys, if you kind of reach your hand down your side, your lungs, your rib cage protects your lungs, right? My rib cage doesn't end until about right here, okay? And so that's a long way down if you think about how big your lungs are, okay? And so if you're breathing just up here, you're only using about maybe 15% of your lungs. And so in band class, we really want you to breathe really low, fill up 110%, okay? and then breathe out. So let's just try that really quickly. So I want us, I'm gonna snap a little bit here, and I want you to breathe in for four, ready, and breathe in, out, in, and out. Good, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it with this fun video, okay? So you actually, you might feel a little bit sleepy after this video. This is from Calm, I'm not sure if you've heard of the app, the one that helps you go to sleep, okay? And the way that you're breathing in band class, it should be very kind of like calming, except obviously when we go faster tempos, it's gonna be faster. And I want you to try and fill up as much as you possibly can on the inhale portion and then blow everything out on the exhale portion. So really fill up, really push out, okay? Here we go. Make sure you're blowing faster on the way out. Fill up all the way. 100% out. All the air, all the air, all the air. Keep your flat chin. Wow, and that was a minute. If you'll believe it, that was a minute of breathing and I bet you feel so much calmer. So make sure you watch this video and practice your breathing at your house.